hello youtube here we go again for a new video and welcome again So today we're gonna talk about the story of the Pollock family, especially the story of the twin girls. So let's begin. It's the story of a beautiful family named Pollock, made up of a father, John, a mother, Florence, and two little girls named Joanna. 11 years old and Shaklin 6 years old. They live in Hexham, a small town in Northumberland in England. One Sunday, the 5th of May 1957, the two girls go to the church with their friend, a little boy. On their way, they had an accident caused by a woman who want to commit suicide. The reason of this last is that she just lost custody of her children so she eats a lot of quantities of aspirin and starts to drive. In the accident, the girls die on the spot and the boy few minutes later. John and Florence are devastated by this tragedy. Some problems start to appear. It starts with a small argument and almost ended in divorce. But at the beginning of the 1958, Florence is pregnant. She says having a feeling that the baby is not a baby but babies. Doctors say that it's not possible and the ultrasound shows the opposite. On the fourth of October 1958, Florence gave birth to two baby girls. Doctors are surprised because they didn't find the other baby on the ultrasound. The twins are named Jillian and Jennifer. Immediately, John and Florence notices something weird. Jennifer, one of the twins, has a dark mark on the left side of her waist, identical to the birthmark of the little Jacqueline. A second mark also is found near her eye. The difference between the first mark is that the second is like Jacqueline's but hers is not a birthmark. It's a scar she accidentally got when falling and hit her head in a bucket. Three months after, they moved to another city to begin a new life. When the girls began to speak, they told unexpected things. One day, they tell their mom to give them toys and they described. You must say it's normal because they are kids and they like playing with toys but they never saw these toys. These are Jacqueline and Joanna's toys. Florence gave them the toys and this last look exactly like the description. Jillian claimed Joanna's toys as her own and Jennifer claimed Jacqueline's. During the childhood of Jacqueline and Joanna, Joanna took a responsible role towards her little sister. Jillian is also more responsible than Jennifer and this last accept the attitude of Jillian without question. Also one thing, the girls have the same interest because Jillian loved experimenting with costumes just like Joanna. One day Jillian pointed to Jennifer's birthmark and said that that is the mark Jennifer got when she fell on the bucket. At school, J 
Jennifer was a little bit bad at writing compared to Jillian. Teacher told Florence to help Jennifer to write better. And that's also what happened to Jacqueline when she was alive. Florence was surprised. On holidays, they decided to do some vacation to Hexham. When they arrived there, the girls seems to remember the city, and especially the way to go to the park, a park where Jacqueline and Joanna used to go. And the cherry on the cake is that the twins are really afraid of cars and afraid to cross the road. They are very suspicious. All of that stories are told by their parents. They probably were shocked by the accident and interpreted all actions of the twins. Maybe not, maybe yes. Maybe the impression of the parents played a big role in the psyche of the twins so they began to do things like the dead girls. From the age of five, the signs of the twins gradually fade until they can no longer remember anything. One of them sometimes have dream of the accident but nothing more until now. So it's the end of the video. Tell me in the comment what you think about this story and don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe. We will be there next week for a new video. Goodbye.